Hello guys, welcome to this video lesson. In this video, I am going to discuss about market structure. Market structure is a term used by economists to group firms together based on their characteristics. You might ask the question, how is the tomato market different from the car market? We begin the discussion by defining the market structure. A market structure is the selling environment in which a firm produces and sells its product. It has three basic characteristics. First, the number of firms in the market. Some markets have many firms competing against each other, while others have few or only one firm producing the product. Number two, the ease of entry and exit of firms. The second characteristic describes the obstacles, requisites, or barriers that potential firm needs to undergo in starting up a business or entering the market. Some markets have barriers to entry while others have less or no barrier at all. These barriers to entry, for examples, are the large cost needed or technology in producing a car. Another is the government regulations like patents or copyright. Patents restrict other firms to sell someone's invention, while copyright restricts other authors or creators to sell someone's piece. The ease of exit describes the amount of sunk costs involved when you leave the market. Sunk costs, by the way, are those expenses that firms incur but cannot be recovered. Some markets have high sunk costs while others have less or no sunk costs involved, so it is easy for them to exit the market. Examples are those selling agricultural products, sidewalk vendors, and etc. Number three, the degree of product differentiation. This characteristic describes the uniqueness of the product offered. Differentiated means that each firm sells a brand or version of the product that differs in quality, appearance or reputation and each firm is the sole producer of its own brand the more unique or differentiated is the product the more easy it is to identify which market structure the firm belonging to based on the above characteristics we can now categorize all firms into four we have Perfect competition, monopoly, monopolistic competition, and oligopoly. Perfect competition and monopoly are extreme forms of market structure, while monopolistic competition and oligopoly are called imperfect competition because firms in these markets have competitors but at the same time do not face so much competition than that of the price takers. Perfect competition is a market structure characterized by number one, a large number of firms and the firms are price takers. Price takers means that individual firm exerts no significant control over the price of the product. Another term for this is that each firm has no power to influence the price of the good that they are selling because doing so is irrational. For example, in the market for oranges, on the average, the price of orange is 10 pesos each, meaning the market price of an orange is 10 pesos. Charging a price higher than 10 for a piece of orange is not good for a firm while all the other firms are taking a 10 peso price because of the law of demand. In the same manner, a rational firm will not charge a price 
lower than 10 pesos if it aims to maximize profit. Graphically, we can illustrate the behavior of the firms under this market. It is shown that the demand curve of a price-taking firm is horizontal or infinite, which suggests that how much output the firm decides to sell will have no effect on the market price of the product. Another reason why firms are price takers is because of product homogeneity, or that's the second characteristic. Among firms in the market, orange is orange, very identical, the color, texture, size, and among others. So there is no other pricing strategy but to take the market price of orange. Then third is easy entry into and exit in the industry. New firms can freely enter while existing firm can easily exit or no significant obstacles such as legal, technological, or financial reasons or barriers. Examples of products or markets under this under perfect competition is tomato, oranges, and mostly agricultural products. The opposite of perfect competition is monopoly. Monopoly is a market structure in which there is just one firm. The reason why there is only one firm is because of some barriers to entry, as I mentioned earlier. Number two, entry by other firms is not possible. As a result, the firm under monopoly is called price maker or the firm has the market power to influence the price of the goods, unlike the firms under perfect competition. The number three, there are no close substitutes for the goods. Because there is only one firm, consumers have only one place to buy the good, and the demand curve faced by the monopolists is also the market demand curve, which is downward sloping it is downward sloping because the law of demand applies that means although the firm is a price maker or has the power to influence the price that power is not absolute because whenever the price of the monopolists is high consumers respond by buying less of the good Next is monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition is a hybrid between perfect competition and monopoly. To see why, let us evaluate its characteristics. First, there are a large number of firms and entry and exit in the market is easy. Note that the first two characteristics are also present in the perfect competition and the third feature is that it has differentiated products the third feature is the distinguishing feature wherein products under this market are differentiated which is also the feature of a monopoly market because each firm's product is slightly different in terms of designs or materials used. Each firm is also a price maker of their own product or brand. For example, in, in the jeans industry, there are many sellers of jeans such as BNY, RRJ, JAG, Levi's, and so on. The price of BNY is different from the price of RRJ or JAG. In effect, each seller becomes a monopolist of their own brand.